Good morning, everybody. Ben Mays here again from Clear Nav Instruments and Williams Soaring Center. It's uh, the beginning of spring and it's time to update your computers. Uh, today, we're going to talk about updating the Clear Nav Vario and the Clear Nav Two Flight Computer. Uh, this first video will be about the Clear Nav Two Flight Computer. There'll be another video posted about the Clear Nav Vario to split them up into shorter sections. Both of the processes are identical talking about the root drive of the stick. Uh, before we get into the video, um, if you're looking for something specific, go down in the timestamp so you can skip ahead. Uh, I'll show you the screen recording of exactly what I'm doing, what files we're moving in. We're gonna download the uh, latest beta software for the CN2. We're gonna unpack the video, uh, unpack the software put it on the stick, put it on the root, right where you need to, talk about the folders you need to, talk about updating FarmNet, talk about updating uh, waypoint files, everything you need, and then we're gonna go to the glider and actually stick it in the unit. Before we get to that, we're gonna talk about a couple of uh, failure points, the, what we spend most of our time fielding phone calls on. So the biggest, uh, there's about three elements here. The biggest, the first element is this little guy right here, the USB stick. That is the biggest cause of trouble. Uh, a lot of people try and use different sticks. The ClearNav comes with a SanDisk 8 gigabyte cruiser blade USB stick. We have seen up to 32 gig sticks work. I've seen different varieties of sticks work between the SanDisk, I've seen the generic USB sticks work. But generally speaking, the CN2, we've seen the least amount of failures in the update process with the cruiser blade. So if you're having difficulty, start with a clean stick uh, you can get them on amazon we can send them to you or uh, format your stick so you clean it out and start with a new fresh stick if you're having difficulty the other big difficulty is depending on what you have in your clear nav unit whether you have the usb stick the little round uh, guy that's wired right into the back of the nexus box with the rj11 remote control jack if that is not working occasionally, those wires come unplugged or those plugs eventually fail. Some of them have been in gliders for, uh, you know, eight to 10 years now. If you're having difficulty there, check and see if you can download a flight. If it's not downloading a flight from that jack into the stick, that jack may have gone bad or a wire may have came loose. You can also plug in directly to the back of the unit. Um, but the biggest thing that we end up finding is most people are not unpacking their stick right. Uh, actually extracting from that zip file, putting it in the right point in the drive. They're not putting it on the root drive or they're not using the right stick. Those are the three main points. So check all those three things. Uh, if those aren't working and this video hasn't helped, then you can give us a phone call at, uh, or send us an email. You can contact us directly from the website and I'll show you where that is here in a second. But those are probably the three biggest things uh, that drive some of these difficulties. So. If you're trying to troubleshoot and diagnose, start with those. Uh, otherwise, here's a, a little link to, or here's the video about the screen recording and exactly where we're pulling things off the website and what file we're putting them into. And then we're gonna hop out to the glider and I'll show you exactly what it should look like on your unit. Hope you enjoy. If you do, remember to hit that like and subscribe button down there in the bottom of the screen uh, so we can keep pushing out more content for you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do here when updating our new, our ClearNav flight computer is come to the new ClearNav website at clearnav.net. We can get to the support page a number of different ways, but we can come to support and we're looking for CN1, CN2 flight computer downloads. We can come in, we can either scroll or go to CN2 software. And we have two options to choose from. We can go with the CN2 current software, which is uh, version 3.21.77, or we can download the new 3.2.6 beta software. The beta uh, is really just giving us better ADSB targets. It has been flown for about six months now. I'm feeling pretty confident in it. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the beta. They're both the exact same software. So click on the software button you'll see you're downloading your zip file to your stick and that is all we need for the downloads. If you do want a uh, download instructions, 
you can click on the download instructions and you'll get a little document that's talking about the exact same thing we're talking about here in the video. So now that that has downloaded, um, the other important thing is you do want to be using the SanDisk Cruiser Blade USB stick. Uh, you can find them on Amazon, you can buy them from us, but the ClearNav 2 is fairly particular on the USB stick. It wants an 8 gig stick. I have seen up to 32 gig sticks used, but most of the time when you're having failure points in difficulty downloading, it has to do with the USB stick. And we have found the least amount of failures with the SanDisk Cruiser Blade 8 gigabyte USB stick. So, now, next we're going to open up our file explorer. We're going to come down to our USB stick. I like to rename the USB stick, so the glider I'm putting it in, uh, I'll name it, you know, one alpha that I'm working on the clear nav, try and name it clear nav or variometer or flarm. I try and keep the stick separately the best I can so I don't end up with a bunch of extra stuff. So we're going to come into our downloads. There's my CN2 USB stick, 6.22.6 beta. I'm going to drag that into onto my USB stick. It's going to copy over. Once that's copied over, I'm going to open the USB stick. I'm going to unpack. You can do this multiple ways. I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to un right click and click extract here. It's going to extract the files. And now all of my files are on the root of the USB stick. This is exactly what I need to see. So the root, for those who don't know, is the base level of stick. So when I click on the stick, it's the first directory that pops up. I can then delete my zip file. And this is what you should see. You'd see CNB updater, checklist, form net, map data, program file, sounds, and diagnostic log. At this point, if you just want to update your stick or just to update your glider, all you really need is the ClearNav updater. You can extract your uh, or eject your stick, go plug into your glider, which will be later in the video. So if that's all you need, go ahead and skip ahead in the video now uh, to um, plug it into the glider. If uh, you know, stick around, we're going to talk about checklists, map data, and FarmNet next. So. Once a year, um, at a minimum, or before I get to use uh, contests and or camps that I'm going to or major events to kind of preempt my FarmNet update. If you look at in the FarmNet file, there is a data file in there, but that data file was done 11.10 of 22, so that is not the latest FarmNet uh, available. FarmNet, um, if you have your CN2 plugged into a form, you want to go get the latest FlarmNet data.fnl file. So I'm going to start by um, downloading the latest FlarmNet.fnl file. So I'm going to go to FlarmNet, Downloads. It's already on the downloads. Uh, if not, I click Downloads. The downloads here, I'm going to come to the, clear, uh, the LXNav, ClearNav, LX8000, all these. ClearNav is using the data.fnl file. I'm going to click data.fnl. It's going to download to my downloads folder. I'm going to go back into my file explorer. I'm going to come back to downloads. I'm going to drag and drop the data.fnl file into the farmnet. If you want to use two steps, you can drop it into the root and then into the farmnet. In my case, I'm going to drop it right into farmnet. There it's moved. I'm going to open, so here is the new version. Always use the date modified to check because it doesn't name it on the data file. So 4923, that's what I want. I'm going to delete the old one. Yes, and very important point. It will not look, it will not find the data.fnl file if it has this parentheses too. It's looking for that specific name. So, oops, I don't want to do that. I'm going to rename and renew the two. The two comes if you have multiple files downloaded. So if you have already had a data.fnl file in your downloads box, that's why it's giving it that uh, parentheses two, parentheses three, parentheses one. That's where that uh, is coming from if you have multiple. So you want to make sure you just have one data.fnl file and it has the right date. We're going to come back out to the root drive. 
Next, if you're setting up a unit for the first time or you're uh, updating, you may or may not want to update your checklists. If you open the checklist file, there's checklist CL1, checklist CL2 all the way through. There's six checklists available. If you want to modify checklists, this is for pre-landing, you know, pre-takeoff, uh, it could be in-flight checklists, whatever you want to use your CN2 for checklists, especially for the motor glider guys, it's very good to have motor glider checklists on there. It's very helpful um, for engine start. You can come in and change the checklist. When you're doing this, you open it in the notepad file. The first name is going to be the name of the checklist. So if we're going to make this take off, That may be my takeoff checklist. That'll be the title of the checklist. And then following down through, I can put whatever I want in my checklist here. In this case, this looks more like a landing checklist. But I can list up to 10 line items on my checklist there. Um, then I am going to file, save, then close. Very important, do not change the name of the checklist here leave that checklist CL1. That is what the ClearNav is looking for when it's updating. If you change this title here to take off, it will not work. We're gonna go back out. So now I have my CN updater, I have my latest flarm net, I have my checklist. The last one is my waypoint file. I might, if this is the first time uploading, I'm looking at my contest calendar going, where am I flying this year? I'm gonna open up map data. I'm gonna come in, I don't change globe, shape, SUAs, I only change waypoints. We're gonna open up waypoints, and any waypoint file you have that you'd like to update for the year, we're gonna put in this file here. Um, it, it'll take all the waypoints in this file and put them on your uh, downloads. You can now use STX or CUP files. So you can put a CUP file on here and the ClearNav will take it. So if you're looking for new uh, waypoints or you don't have your waypoint database, most people use the World Soaring Turnpoint Exchange. So we're going to, I, I can only find it off the Williams website, come to Williams Soaring Center links, go to Turnpoint Exchange. We're going to look up our region. I'm in California. Come down to, I'm in Williams, so I'm going to go to Williams. I'm going to click Files formatted for downloading and importing into program. Click on the hand. I'm going to come down and find the clear nav and download. There's my William 16 STX. Looks like I have four in the downloads file. That's why it gave it the parentheses four. Back to File Explorer. Back to Downloads. And in this case, oops, that's Documents. I'm going to go to Downloads. I'm going to, I can also do this by copying and pasting. Click it, copy, map data, waypoints, and paste. There is my Williams STX file. It's the exact same one as that, but I'm gonna delete the old one just for video sake. I'm going to rename so it doesn't have the parentheses for on my file. There we go. So now we come back to the root of the stick. So on the root of the stick, I have the ClearNav updater, CNX file. I've changed my checklist if you wanted to do so. I've updated FlarmNet. I've changed my map data. You don't need to change any of the other file formats at, at all here. So now I have everything I need on my SanDisk Cruiser Blade 8 gig USB stick. I'm going to right click and eject. Now I am gonna pull out my USB stick and we're gonna go out to the glider. So. Here we are in the Williams Storing Center ASW24 that we rent out. We are going to plug our USB stick into the USB extension port here. Pop that guy in. Then 
we're going to turn on the CN2. As it boots up, it's always going to start with the blue screen. Then it's going to kick on to the clear nav screen with the clouds. We're going to get an hourglass that pops up. That's the means it's looking for the USB stick. Once that USB stick is found, we're going to get the software and data transfer page. So I can click don't upgrade now. I can select all. My options are software, waypoints, airspace, sounds, flarmnet, and checklists. In this case, I'm going to software and I'm going to update flarmnet. So I've selected both. Every, whatever I want to update, then I can come down and click update. If I once I click update, it's going to run the little, it's going to run the text note in the bottom telling me what I'm doing. I can also delete all tasks, delete all secured flight recordings, or reset to factory default if I need to. But in this case, I'm going to click update. It's going to tell me that it's updating the clear navigator program files, updating FlarmNet files, and when it's completed, it's going to tell me to remove the USB stick and cycle the power. I'm going to remove the USB stick cycle the power power goes off we leave it off for about three to five seconds power back on it's going to run through its boot up it's going to search for a usb stick it doesn't find the usb stick it's going to run through normally then we're going to see up in the top the current version 3.22.6.552 that is what we just updated. It shows me that my seal is still good. Then we are all updated and good to go. One last thing that's very important about looking at your CN2 every time you pop up. I'm sitting in the hangar now, so I don't have any GPS fix. My Vario is turned on, and because my power is on, my Flarm is on. So in the bottom wind box here, you have an F, you have a C. The F is for your Flarm connection. The C is for talk uh, that is talking to either the ClearNav Vario or the Cambridge Vario if you have a Cambridge 302. So the C and the F are very important. If I don't have one or the other, it's one of three things. If the Flarm is missing, I don't have an F, no F at all, that means that it's not talking to the Flarm unit. So either it's a bad cable connection, but generally speaking, that means your FlarmNet firmware is out of date. Remember, you have to update your Flarm, from, not your Flarm net, sorry, your Flarm firmware on your Flarm box itself, whether it's a portable, a Fusion, or a Core, you have to update that once a year from the Flarm website. So make sure your Flarm is updated. If it's a red F, that means it's talking to the Flarm, it just does not have GPS signal, so you may have a GPS interruption. The C is talking to the clear nav. As long as it's a black C, we're good to go, we're good to fly. That means I'm gonna get accurate winds down here in this wind box coming off of the variometer. If it's a red C, that means it's talking to the unit, but there is no GPS uh, that, that's feeding the uh, Vario yet. So either it's because you're in a hangar in the box, or if you're outside, you may have a GPS antenna issue. But always make sure you have your F and your C hooked up if you're running the clear nav connected to the Flarm and or the ClearNav Vario um, connection. So our unit's all up to date. Now we're ready for our soaring season. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Like I said, hit that like and subscribe button down in the bottom if you like the video and if you wanna see more content. If you've made it through all these steps and you're still having difficulty, contact us either from the contact us form on the ClearNav website or email us directly or you can give a call to Williams Soaring Center and we'll put you in touch with uh, either myself or one of the ClearNav techs to work through any issues you may still be having. Hope everyone has a fun, safe flying season and enjoy your ClearNav products.